A primary school in Essex in England has come under fire from the parents of the pupils of that school. After it emerged, the teachers have been instructed not to use terms like boy and girl. Instead, they have to say things which are gender neutral. Now, this is going to cause some problems because, first of all, young kids are thick as shit. They need everything explaining to them as simply as possible. And how are things like toilets going to work? And changing rooms? And PE? If you can't use terms like boy and girl, then what about basic sex education? Because that goes on at primary schools. How are you going to explain it without using terms boy, girl, man, woman, male, female? It doesn't fucking work. Now, the reason that the teachers are doing this is because the school has teamed up with Stonewall. Now, Stonewall are an LGBT charity, but they're often in the news for their tactics because they're more about indoctrinating kids into thinking that they're gay or trans. And I've got nothing against gay and trans people. I've got friends who are both. I mean, God knows what it's like to be transgender, to wake up feeling you're in the wrong body. That must be hell. But I wake up every day thinking I've got someone else who's attached to mine. But their statistics are always so farcical, it's a joke. It'll be, oh, did you know 12 out of 10 young children are actually transgender and they're also mixed race and bisexual and 3 out of 10 identify as a DeLonghi cordless fucking kettle and 300% of them commit suicide before they're born. It's all bullshit. Now, there are people who'll go, well, no, we need to be more open-minded. What about if a boy wants to play with dolls? Well, fucking let a boy play with dolls then. It's not doing any harm. But make him aware that if he picks up a Barbie, that is a very unrealistic representation of the female form. He's never going to get tits unless he pays for them. But another company has got itself into the news over LGBT issues, and that's Marks and Spencers. Because they're doing their bit for various gay pride charities by selling the LGBT sandwich. Now this is a BLT but they put guacamole in it to get LGBT. Other than that being extremely patronising, there is one issue, which is that they sell this sandwich in a rainbow coloured box. So that's going to let all the lunatics know who to kick the shit out of. And secondly, you wouldn't do this with any, any other marginalised minority group. Go, oh we'll call a sandwich after you and that way we'll make some money. I mean, if you're going to give money to charity, just give the fucking money to charity. Don't make a publicity stunt out of it. I mean, we've got a problem with knife crime. What are they going to do now? Sell a sandwich called the shank and the butter's put on with a fucking bayonet? We've actually got the first case of an FGM, female genital mutilation in this country. What are we going to do for that? Got it, seal it, bang. Just change the, uh, change the spelling on that. Clip, bang, and the orgasm is gone forever. Of course... The generation of kids going to this school in Essex won't know what a clitoris is because they're not going to be told what boys and girls are. I fucking give up.